Good morning all. Welcome to the blended learning course on mushroom cultivation. In this unit, we'll discuss about the history and introduction to mushroom cultivation. So what is the history of mushroom cultivation? Where this mushroom cultivation evolved? And what is the importance of mushroom cultivation? Okay, so we'll study about all these things in detail in this unit. And definitely we'll study about the different types of mushrooms like which are the common edible mushrooms and which are the poisonous mushrooms that we uh, use. Okay, so we can study about all these things. So the important course outcome of studying this unit is you'll be able to identify the edible and poisonous mushrooms and also you'll get a very important uh, idea about the mushroom cultivation. We know that mushrooms are the reproductive structures of a fungus. So mushrooms, what you see as mushroom is actually the floating body of fungus which belongs to the group Ascomycetes and Basidiomycetes. And generally the mushrooms, they grow in shady places. That is, they usually require moist and rich shady places which is rich in humus. It needs various ecological conditions. We can, we can find the mushrooms in different ecological conditions. Even in um, desert regions, certain mushrooms are there. So generally, mushrooms are seen in moist places, shady places, and where the humidity is very, very high. So this mushroom is a very heterogeneous group, and there are about 3,000 non-edible species, sorry, uh, different species, of which 100 species are cultivated species. Okay, so let us go through the important edible species, Agaricus bisporus, Agaricus bitorcus, Pleurotus, Calozide, Volvarelia volvesia, Lentinulas. These are some of the edible mushrooms. Agaricus bisporus is the common white button-like mushroom. It is known as button-like mushroom because morphologically it looks like a small button. Okay, and Pleurotus is another common edible mushrooms. It is rich, um, this mushroom is a very uh, important medicinal mushroom. And this Pleurotus is commonly called as oyster mushroom. It's known as oyster mushroom because the shape of the sporocarp, it represents oyster like shape. Then uh, Lentinula adults and Padistro mushrooms. And Padistro mushroom is also an important variety that is cultivated throughout India. Now let us go through some poisonous mushrooms. The most common poisonous mushroom is Amanita. Amanita phalloids is an important poisonous mushroom. It is highly poisonous. It is deadly poisonous. It has a toxin which is known as amanitin. And this amanitin, consumption of this amanita phalloids can cause fatality. It can cause the death of a person. So that is the importance of uh, the poisonous mushrooms. The poisonous mushrooms, we have to be very, uh, we have to ensure before conception that the mushroom we are consuming is edible. It's not poisonous. So other important poisonous mushrooms includes fly agaricus, which is known as Amanita muscaria, then deadly dapurling, podostroma cornidami, and destroying angel. So these are the important poisonous mushrooms. Now let us study about the history of mushroom cultivation. We know that this mushroom cultivation was used as a delicacy for more than 2000 years. Auricularia species was the first cultivated species in China in 680. Then in France, the earliest attempts were made by utilizing uh, horse manure as the compost. So the mushroom uh, were grown in a special type of compost made out of horse manure. And in England, mushroom production was basically, or uh, it was cultivated in rich beds. Then by 19th century, mushroom industry was ba uh, it based on growing of agaricus evolved in Western Hemisphere, USA and Europe. And in USA, the mushroom cultivation was started in 1880, in the year 1880, and it was basically, uh, this cultivation was in New York. And agaricus mushrooms accounts for the largest percentage of mushroom cultivated. It's followed by Lentinula. Coming to India, so now we'll discuss about the history of mushroom cultivation in India. In India, S.R. Bose was the first person who was successful in the culture of two species of button mushroom. It was in the year 1921 and in 1943, Paddy straw mushroom cultivation started in Coimbatore. 
and in 1962, the successful cultivation of oyster mushroom was started at Mysore by Sakya Banu and H. Sri Srivastava. And in the year 1972, ICR developed coordinated schemes on mushroom cultivation. Then, in 1977, UNDP supported mushroom cultivation in Uttarakhand. So, mushroom cultivation is nowadays receiving top priority for export and also for the domestic construction in our country. It can generate employment, so it can solve the unemployment problem, especially the rural unemployment problem, and definitely it's a women-friendly uh, cultivation method also. So, that's all about today's topic about the history and um, introduction to mushroom cultivation. Hope you all understood about this, what is agaricus and what is the different types of mushroom. In the next class, we'll study more about mushroom cultivation. Thank you.